Hi, I'm Laura Tompkins, and I am the mom of Connor. He is four years old, and he has cystic fibrosis. Uh, Connor also has an older brother, Jackson, who just turned seven, and a dad named Colin, who um, is a software developer at Microsoft. And we are a happy little family of four with some really involved grandparents and fun aunties and cousins to play with. Connor was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when he was five weeks old. He was born and we somehow forgot between us and the hospital to do his newborn screen, which is really unusual and it was a little bit of an oversight. But when he was about two and a half weeks old, his doctor mentioned to me that she was still waiting for the results of his newborn screen. And at that time we discovered that he hadn't actually done it yet. So we took him to do his newborn screen. It came back with a marker that he might have cystic fibrosis. We weren't supposed to worry yet because that can happen. And unfortunately, he repeated his newborn screen and that too had a marker that he had cystic fibrosis. Um, we entered this time of lots of worrying and scheduled him at Seattle Children's Hospital for a sweat test, which is kind of the gold standard test for cystic fibrosis. And at that time, um, he took a sweat test and within just about two hours, the results came back positive and he was five weeks old and we knew then that he had CF. Um, recently, when Connor was about three and a half, we were on a family vacation in Hawaii and I'm not exactly sure what he and his older brother Jackson were talking about, but Connor out of nowhere just started crying and told me that he didn't want to die. Apparently his brother had told him that he has cystic fibrosis and that if he doesn't do his treatments that he could die. Um, that was really hard to hear out of my three and a half year old's mouth. We've been talking about CF and how important medications and treatments are from birth really. But I would say that was pretty much the first time that Connor asked me so directly and came to me with really big concerns. Connor takes, I haven't counted, a lot of different medications and does a um, few different treatments a day. So he takes some medications. I mean, he's on like an allergy med just to kind of help. He, he's got a few seasonal allergies as well. Um, he's got two different inhalers for his asthma. Every day he does 30 minutes of his respiratory therapy vest, which is this device that kind of uh, shakes out the mucus lining his lungs. So he does that in the morning and in the evening when he's well. He does it four times a day when he's ill. <laughs> Connor um, is on a clinical trial right now for a medication that's approved for children over six years old with his mutation types. Um, Connor's only four, so it's in the clinical trial phases. He also nebulizes uh, hypertonic saline, which is just salt water. Um, but some studies have found that it helps kind of loosen the mucus and it also kind of irritates um, so that you cough that mucus out. He does that twice a day. He nebulizes Pulmzyme once a day in the evening and he takes his enzymes with every single meal. Um, in addition to that, we teach Connor how to do lots of exercising. Um, it's really important for him to maintain good health. We try to think about things that'll help shake out that mucus. Um, one of his very favorite um, exercise routines is jumping on our very large trampoline in the backyard. Can you say what's on your shirt? Connor's cute finger. Can you tell me about that? Well, 
So we have like this big walk where like all his friends and the people who care about him want to get his cure out. And basically it's like good exercise for Connor to get his like, it, it helps him so he won't be able to do his best. Cause when you like jumps or like walks or run, it like, you don't have to do his best that long. Oh yeah, so it is helpful for him to do that? Connor has the most common set of mutations um, of all of the folks who have cystic fibrosis. So when you've got cystic fibrosis, you get two mutated genes, um, one from you know, your biological um, mother, one from your biological father, and those make up your gene mutations. Connor got the most common mutated gene from me and the most common mutated gene from his dad. And so about 50% of the CF population has this Delta F508 mutation. So it's the most common, but it's also one of the more severe um, mutations of cystic fibrosis. And even within those two mutations, as I said, about 50% of the CF population has those same two set of genes. Connor seems to be on the more severe end. He just seems to have more trouble than others in within his same mutation family. There's always, you know, two ends of the spectrum and he just happens to fall on the more severe end. He's had a few different hospitalizations by this time. He needs a lot of extra calories just to maintain his pretty low weight and he needs a lot of meds and a lot of therapies to keep him as healthy as possible. You're free. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! With cystic fibrosis in your life, you are working with life and you are also working with this terrible time thief. Um, it's hours and hours a day of treatment and so many more when ill. And the biggest challenge for us is just maintaining a really good medication and treatment protocol while balancing things like school and swimming, seeing family and friends and playing.